So, yung next part ng presentation ng results natin would be uh, yung third paragraph and that's the presentation of the results of your indicators. Okay? Each indicator. So, since yung highest na indicator natin ay expectations, so, una nating i-present yung result ng expectation. Okay? Based on the appended table. Yung nasa appendix natin na table. And uh, since sa questionnaire ay pang-apat, panghuling uh, indicator siya dun sa mismong questionnaire natin, survey questionnaire. So, kaya siya nasa table 1.4. Okay? Pero una natin siyang i-discuss kasi siya yung indicator na may highest mean. Alright? So, eto the high level rating of 3.79 on expectations means that it is oftentimes manifested in the school. Again, itong oftentimes manifested, nakuha natin yan doon sa range of means. Ha? So, similarly, the data in the appended table 1.4 shows that the students gave high-level ratings. So, ito muna. Ma'am, since na-introduce dito yung table 1.4, sa next page ba nito, table 1.4 na? Hindi. Hindi na isali sa results, i-display sa results, yung, tab yung appended tables. Kaya nga ang tawag sa kanila appended tables because they are not in the results. Um, they are in the appendices. Okay? Naka-attach sila dun sa uh, last part ng, ng paper, appendices. Okay? So, data in the appended table 1.4 shows that the students gave high-level ratings on the following views to it. So, eto, copy-paste lang ang mga ito mula sa table 1.4 mo. Okay? And in your table 1.4, lahat ng may very high at saka high, yun ang i- uh, i-present mo dun sa results. Okay? So, hindi mo na isali yung moderate, yung uh, very, uh, yung low at saka very low. So, only those uh, that have high and very high level ratings. Okay? Since lahat ng items dito ay may high level ratings, then i-include natin lahat ng items na ito dun sa sa results. Alright. So, Ayan, to wit, having teachers who encourage students to share their ideas about things we are studying in class. And then, nakalakip dito yung mean score. Uh, that's comma, and then mean score, and then colon. And then, having teachers, another item na naman, the next item with the highest mean, having teachers that often require me to explain my answers, comma, and then mean score, semicolon. Okay. Ang presentation dito, although nakaka-copy-paste lang yan, pero dun sa, based on the appended table, it should be a, it should be from highest mean to the lowest mean. If you notice here, sa table 1.4, hindi pa naka-arrange. Okay? 3.67, 4.12, 3.97, hindi pa naka-arrange from highest to lowest. Okay? That is why Ang instruction ko nga, uh, sa, when you make your appended table, mas okay kung naka-arrange na siya from highest to lowest. Kasi ang gagawin mo, copy-paste na lang. No? So, in this case, hindi pa siya naka-arrange. Kaya, um, ikaw pa yung mag-a-arrange. Ano ba dito yung highest? O, oh, ayan, yung 4.12. So, eto yung mauna. Having teachers that encourage uh, students to share their ideas about things we are studying in class. Ito yung highest. Ano bang next? Uh, 3.97. O, dalawa silang 3.97. So, mauna ito. Having teachers that often require me to explain my answers. Having teachers that often assign homework that helps me helps me learn. Okay. Ayan. So, having teachers that often assign homework that helps me learn. 3.97. Okay? Ayan sila. O, dalawa. So, ganyan lang yung pag-present. Ha? Hanggang dun sa lowest. Lowest mean... Pero high level pa rin. Okay? The, uh, sa second to the last, after ng semicolon, maglalagay ka lang ng end, end before yung last item. Believing that I don't feel bored in my class before lunch, and comma, and then the mean, and then period. That's the last item. Okay? And take note that the items here are in italics. Again, ha? yung mga items gamula dun sa appended tables, naka-italics yan. 
Yung mean score, hindi naka-italicized yung mean score. Ha? Normal font lang yan. Okay? So, that's the third paragraph. Now, yung fourth paragraph and the succeeding paragraph, they are still the results of your uh, expect, uh, I mean, of your indicators. Okay, second highest tayo. Ang second highest ay support. So, your next paragraph following this would be about the results of your uh, second uh, highest na indicator. And that's um, support. So, eto yung paano niya uh, in state. So, the second highest indicator of the level of school climate is support. It has a high level rating, which means that support is oftentimes manifested. Data, as presented in Appended Table 1.3, further reveal that students gave high level rating on the following views and were perceived to be oftentimes manifested. To wit, ay, ibig sabihin ng to wit class, namely, ayan. So, having teachers that really care about me, kama, and then the mean score, and then highest to lowest yan based on means, and then yung last dito, meron tayong end na word, and then the last item. And then yung mean score. Ito yung itsura ng appended table 1.3. Okay, tingnan nyo, hindi pa naka-arrange. So, mas maganda kung naka-arrange na dito, no? Uh, yung moderate naman, hindi natin sinali, ha? Hindi natin sinama dito yung moderate. So, yung high lang at saka very high. But if you have only two items tapos moderate, edi iisama mo na. I-discuss mo na yung dalawa or tatlo moderate or tatlong low. I-discuss mo na yung tatlo. Okay? The third in rank among, among the indicators of the level of school climate is peer social climate. So, pareho lang yan. Pareho lang ng style ng mag-present ng uh, result. Then, ito yung table 1.2. Last one, ito. Ang last kasi moderate level lang siya, no? So, uh, hindi lahat ng items niya ay high at saka very high. Meron siyang uh, moderate levels din. So, tingnan natin kung paano per nisen. Okay. So, lastly, among the indicators of the level of school climate, school safety was the only one rated with moderate level. Which means that it is sometimes manifested. As presented in the appended table 1.1, the only item rated with very high level, with a mean of 4.21, was feeling safe in our, in our classes, which was viewed as always manifested. The table also shows some items rated high level, indicating that they were oftentimes manifested. To wit, Ito yung mga items with high level. Feeling safe at school, and then yung mean score, and so on. Okay. Pwede na, uh, pwede na sana ito, no? Hanggang dyan ka lang. Kasi high, high level items, marami naman. But the, the writer or the author chose to discuss yung mga may moderate levels. Okay. Diniscuss niya ito kasi ito yung uh, may connection ito dun sa recommendations niya. Okay, pagdating dun sa recommendation part ng paper. So, paano ba present? On the other hand, the remaining five items pertaining to school safety were rated with moderate level. This means that they were sometimes manifested. Among these items were feeling safe outside around school, believing that I don't worry about crime and violence in school, having students in my school that do not put others down, okay, having students in this school that are not teased, or picked on and having students in this school that are not threatened or bullied. So, meaning, eto masyadong low ang rating. So, meaning, may problema dito na mga items. So, that is why the researcher, the author, chose to discuss or to present this uh, result. No? Kahit na may moderate level na siya. Okay, eto yung itsura ng table 1.1. Okay. And after that, kasi yun na yung last na indicator, ano, na may yung lowest mean. Uh, eto na, it should be followed immediately by your uh, level of uh, variable 2. Okay. Walang level ito. Dapat merong level of mathematical dispositions of grade 10 students. Okay. So, pareho lang din ang format class. First paragraph, overall results ng table 2. Second paragraph would be the result of each Sa table 2, na yung mga indicators, no? Highest to lowest based on mean. And 
Yung third paragraph niyan would be the result of the highest indicator, flexibility. So, yung result ng appended table um, ng flexibility. Okay? And that's it.